2006 FIFA Player of the Year, Fabio Cannavaro, 830,000 US dollars, Team Shiliguri. Argentine hitman Hernan Crespo, 840,000 US dollars, Team Barashat. Arsenal and French legend Robert Pires, $800,000, Team Haura. Yes, big ticket international footballing stars are finally here in India and more significantly at the mecca of the beautiful game in this country, Kolkata. It's football with a touch of glamour thrown in. Premier League Soccer or PLS is starting to create a buzz after an IPL style auction. It's a novel initiative of having the first ever franchisee based league in the history of Indian football. They will share the same dressing room, they'll share the same training pitch, they'll share the same field of play with the legends which uh, I think which are, is only a dream, more than a dream. Kolkata based business houses grabbed franchisee rights at never before heard amounts. Barashat sold at a staggering 25 crore, while Shiliguri and Kolkata went at 18 and 12 crore respectively. Deal done, the five franchisees then juggled with their money to choose for their teams, a coach and four foreign players. We wanted Crespo, we got Crespo, we wanted Botero, we got it, got him. Theorosin, we wanted Theorosin, we got and all at the best price. That's the fantastic part of it. We are elated. Though organizers are yet to finalize PLS's broadcast rights in Asia and Europe, the Indian Football Association confirmed that unlike in IPL, there would be no change in the playing format of the game. So I don't think there is a need for change. There may be a need for introduction of certain amount of entertainment angle to it. It was a promising start to an attempt to revive football in India, IPL style. The focus will now be on marketing the franchises and identifying local talents for the teams and set the ball rolling for PLS to get off to a flying kickoff. In Kolkata, Shogotam Kupathai.